Hi there, it's Dr. Grant Pagden. I've just returned from the Interventional Orthopedic Foundation meetings in Colorado. Uh, the head of the organization is Dr. Chris Centeno, who is also one of the principals behind Regenex, R-E-G-E-N-E-X-X. -E -E you may have heard of them. Uh, they produce a large volume of research around regenerative medicine. And it's very interesting to read this post today on the Regenex website, which is a consensus statement put forward by the physicians, the academics, and the regulatory experts that were all in attendance at the IOF meetings. Uh, this paper is around the marketing of non-viable birth tissues as if they were living stem cell products. As you know, there's been a number of these full-page ads in uh, newspapers all across North America trying to recruit patients uh, to these um, uh, therapies that involve birth products such as amniotic membrane, amniotic fluid, umbilical cord, or placental extracts. These things are marketed as if they contain millions of living cells with a huge potential to alleviate a wide variety of symptoms. Uh, this consensus statement outlines the research done to analyze these products. And this research has clearly shown that these products do not contain any live or functional stem cells at all. And in fact, the growth factors associated with these products are substantially less than what we would find in something simple like platelet-rich plasma. These products do contain certain proteins, and we don't know what the impact is on orthopedic injuries because there is no research to support their use. I would encourage patients that are interested in any regenerative procedure to do the due diligence and read through the evidence. This paper is particularly compelling, clearly again showing that birth products offer no living stem cells. That's why here at Pagden Health, we harvest living stem cells from the individual and inject them right at the point of care. Thank you.